on in that game and want to try and get a goal themselves in Longford. Calm, composed play there by Lee Grace, just to use his body to ensure Burns didn't rob that ball or maybe win himself a peno. Oh, high skill by Watts, taking on the chest and a little volley around the corner. And here he goes again. It's Watts to Gannon, or to Aaron Green, should I say. And back inside to Gaffney, who continued his run. This could be a good opportunity here for Rowers, particularly with Green on the left foot here. Oh, Gannon missed it. He hasn't, though. It's in at the back post. And it is that man, Andy Lyons. We spoke about his danger all night in that left wing back position. It was missed initially, but Lyons was there across the back, celebrate on the far side to score his sixth league goal of the season for Shamrock Rovers, who lead here 1 0 against St. Pat's. Similar to the chance that Anang saved in the first half, just bounced in front of the goalkeeper, and in the end. Gary knows better than me, but he did very well to make sure there was no spill into a reboundable area for St. Pat's. Yeah, look, that, that really dipped in front of him. There was a lot of pace on the ball as well, so he'd be happy to get that, that out away from danger. And check it out again in just a second. Same with live pictures now, because it's Rovers going from defence to attack in the form of Aaron Green. Lyons is racing forward here. Gary O'Neill is up, Dylan Watts is up, and Gaffney is there as well. It's a lovely nutmeg by Green. He was dragged by Jack Scott. Great advantage by the referee. Oh, what a, oh what a brilliant finish by Aaron Green. Great referee as well by Rob Hennessy. Green was definitely fouled on the far side by Jack Scott. Ref played the advantage. And Aaron Green with that left foot has rivaled it across the goal into the top corner to score his second league goal of the season. And double Rovers lead.